Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on Terraria Journeys and Ladies and gentlemen, today will be a very big day because today we will gather the last seven fishing quests and we'll simply complete the last seven fishing quests and today we will obtain the Supreme Helper Minion Achievement. Now, before we begin, I was messing around with the workshop stuff and I actually managed to find one add-on that I really liked. It's called Gold UI and it simply changes most of the UI to gold. You can actually see in the achievements section, the borders for the achievements are now golden. Which is cool, because I love gold. Anyway though, now that our achievements are listed, you can clearly see we have 193 out of the 200 required fishing quests. Meaning there are only 7 left and today we will deal with those last 7. With a nice beautiful color background around that. But yeah. Only seven fishing quests remain. We are genuinely this close to being done. So, yeah, today is a big day. Because today we will obtain the Supreme Helper Minion achievement. After we complete this, you know, achievement, and after we get this done, in other words, next episode we're going to do is we're going to actually come back to our spirit mode playthrough. Because I never finished it. I've begun spirit mode. We got to hard mode. The latest thing we did was we killed the twins. Then. Terraria 1.4 drop, so kind of just abandoned spirit mod and then moved to this. And we've been playing this for like, well, a long time now. I would say oh, months, Maybe like half a year, probably more than half a year, yeah. So I never finished my spirit mod playthrough because I just kind of abandoned it and then moved on to, you know, Terraria Journey's End. But now that we're about to do the last thing I want to do in Journey's End, in other words, now that we're about to collect the last achievement, then we're gonna be able to move on back to spirit mode after we get this done. So today will actually be the last episode in, you know, the 1.4 version of Terraria because we're gonna be going back to 1.3 to play through, you know, our spirit mode playthrough. So yeah, we generally will be going back to the 1.3 version because the modded get because modded Terraria is still in 1.3, so we're gonna be going back to 1.3 to play modded. But you get the point. Today is gonna be the last episode in Journey's End in 1.4. And the next episode, as I said, we're going to go into Terraria 1.3 to continue and finish off our Spirit Mod playthrough. But it'll be next episode. Today we're staying at 1.4, so let's waste no more time and let's go. Oh, look at that. This is also golden. That's so cool. I don't actually know how many things were changed. I know quite a lot of things were changed. So this is now golden. That's quite cool. I presume so are the worlds, right? No, these weren't changed. Let's find them. Uh, Land of Oxy, another thing I was supposed to do was I was supposed to actually download the Builder's Workshop World. I'll quickly do that now. Uh, installed. The reason that I'm downloading the Builder's Workshop is because we already have a Builder's Workshop right here, but this is actually still in the 1.3 version. But now at 1.4, there are some new items in the new Builder's Workshop, well, that will have the 1.4 items. And we, we don't have to download the Builder's Workshop like we downloaded the old one. We don't have to import the files, you can simply just use the Workshop. I already have it downloaded. Here it is. BW, in other words, Builder's Workshop updated by Sam Taru, and it's actually the Master Mode, it's quite interesting. We can quickly go and import that. I'm actually going to simply change it just to, you know, um, Builders, I spell that wrong. Builders Work Workshop. I apologize for the screen jittering, I just, it's doing it, the same thing for me. 1.4. Builders Workshop 1.4. Let's quickly go and get that, you know, into the thing. We actually, it's probably going to actually load us into the game, which I don't even want to do that. Though. Actually, no, man. It didn't. So fine, now that should be um, right here. There it is, Builders Workshop 1.4. That's quite cool. We're going to keep that there then. But yeah, that exists. Anyway though, let's head now back into the land of 1.4 and let's get these last seven fishing quests. So first of all, we can probably see the golden GUI the second we load in. Yep, there it is. I'm in the long world. I'm the wrong world. But yeah, here it is. The golden GUI. Apart from the fact that I'm in the wrong world, you can actually see the golden GUI and it's quite beautiful, I've got to say. So favorite items turn the border from gold to blue. That's completely fine. The items you could select that also turn it from the inside to blue. And Journey's all gold. You know, I love gold. Gold is quite fun, so yeah, also adds a little border over here. That's quite nice. I like that. Anyway, though, we went in the wrong world, so we gotta, you know, retry and go into the actual correct world. There, the charts. So yeah, as I said, last episode we have dealt with uh, seven fishing quests, and you went from a uh, hundred and... 60 something to 100 and... no, not 160. Went from 180 something to 100... And 93, yeah, yeah. I think we went from 190, 186, yeah, we went from 186 to 193, meaning we only have seven fishing quests left to do. And we're going to deal with these seven fishing quests, and we're going to complete Terraria. Like, I mean, literally complete the game, collect every single achievement today, right now. 
Also, now that it's actually, you know, darker here, you can see the, you know, golden GUI even better. I really like it. And I mean, I really like it. It's just so cool. That's what items look like in here. Also, nice and gold. It's cool. I like it because, you know, I like gold. Anyway, though, for now, first things first, you got to sleep so you can, you know, wait till the next day so you can deal with the first of the last remaining seven fishing quests. Today will be a big day. Today, we will obtain the Supreme Helper Mini Achievement. So let's waste no more time and let's go get it. Oh, what's a beautiful morning with my amazing golden GUI. I gotta say, this golden GUI is beautiful. I'm loving it. Shame we won't be able to play with it for long because, you know, next episode we're gonna be going back to 1.3, meaning that we won't have this golden GUI. Although 1.3 is modded, so theoretically we could download a mod that makes our GUI golden. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So maybe we can get a golden GUI in modded Terraria as well. We'll think about it. For now, time to murder these harpies and get to work. First of the seven, well, we're gonna get them, we're gonna get it done right now. This golden GUI, even the bed's golden. Oh, it's beautiful. The bestiary, actually the bestiary wasn't changed. But that's completely fine. Town dog. I'll combine this to many, except when I was ready for action. Okay. What was that that I just saw up there? Ah, probably was my, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, of course, it was my a little um, baby skeleton. Yeah, baby skeleton head. Don't even ask. I wasn't going to. Hold well, on, was the zenith always red? I assume so. Also, look at that. Items also have a bit of a border around them. Not golden, but a bit of a black border. Which actually is fine, because it kind of highlights the items a bit more. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so yeah, we can actually get ourselves a golden GUI in 1.3 as well, because you can get a mod for that as well. That's quite fun. So you can get a golden GUI here and then. Nice. Now, actually our chat box, isn't it? They're the same. That's fine then. You want yourself an angelfish. Right. Nice way to start off today, because angelfish are very easy to get. Up here we go. Quickly go and equip our golden fishing rod. Kobe. And, well, the angelfish shall be now in my inventory. That's not the angelfish. Close, but you know, that's the angel fish. There it is. I'll talk. Free away. Also, hold on. New items in your inventory. Okay, that's not a new item, does it? Okay, I gotta get a different item. Um, I just get like a harpy feather. But new items also have a different little, you know, they look a bit different. Harpy. Will he kill you? Pick up your feather. No, that's not your feather. That's one that's gonna count. I need a feather. Yeah. Can you drop me a feather, dude? Cheers. Now, there, since it's a new item, as you can see, it has a different border. That's how it looks like. It's just simply blue. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Also, apparently, the author, I like money. The author of this mod said that he got inspired to make this, um, you know, mod from the golden, you know, uh, little health and mana and, and map. That's how he got inspired to make it, which is quite good because it actually fits. If golden health, golden mana, golden map, and golden GUI, which frankly is quite good. Is it GUI or HUD? Kind of, I don't really know. Whatever though, that's that. Golden bug net, man, so much gold, Christ Almighty. Talking about gold, since we're, you know, on the very obvious topic of gold, um, if you haven't noticed, I love gold so much, and since I love gold so much, I have built a golden palace, because, um, I love gold so much. Look at this, gold here, gold here, gold here, gold everywhere. Christ almighty, like even gold on the floor. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, though, that's the first one done, leaving us only six more fishing quests remaining, which is quite good. Um, yeah, only six more. Alright then. Let's keep on sleeping, and let's deal with the next one. I'm gonna probably clear that up. Beautiful. Yeah. Six more. Let's go. Oh, of course, there's a blood moon. Oh, of course, there's a goddamn blood moon. Although, maybe we can easily solve this problem with just... Well, what did you call it? A small little enchanted sun gel. Hopefully, that'll be the way out of this, right? Because I think it's been enough time since we last used the previous sun gel. I prefer to use a sun gel, obviously, you know during a day, so you can skip for a day and night, but skip for the Blood Moon might just be better in general, so yeah. All of my Sun Jewels back at base. Okay, you know what, I'll just do Sun later. For now, I'll just activate you, and uh, this night won't take that long. I'll, okay, see, I'll see you in the morning. Whatever. Alright, that Blood Moon is practically over. God, that was painful. First, you actually want to go and check. We have the Enfaxel 6, and I've only dealt one. I've done one fishing quest. And you already had a blood moon. Christ almighty. It's over though. We can murder the harpies and get to work. We have murdered so many harpies, my god. Anyway though, there was no um, stars in the background, which made everything look quite cool. Which is quite fun. I wait out. I'm now going to quickly get myself down to earth. So we can go and deal with the next fishing quest. We only have six remaining now. After you get us done, only five more, which is always quite fun. Let's get down and let's get to it. So, boom, here we are. Now let's quickly go and pay a visit to Danny. Hello there. 
You want yourself a demonic hellfish. He has never told me to get this before. I have never been told to get a demonic hellfish, which is quite interesting. Right then, well, new fish, caught in the caverns. Uh, that could be problematic. Um, that, that's the jungle. I don't, I don't have a pool in the caverns. That might work, but that's, that's underground. Well, that way we're gonna go to the right ocean. That's our best bet. Oh, I still gotta go and fix that ship. You know, I'm gonna probably fix that right now. Not fully, but I'm gonna just do something to it. Whilst waiting for the next, you know, fishing quest. For now, I'll head down here to do this fishing quest. Then we're gonna go and maybe, you know, sort out that little thing, Majiga. And down we go. And let's, um, just, yeah, this is underground. So we're gonna go deeper. Of course we do. Why would we need to go deeper? We always need to go deeper. Okay, now we can get through here then. That's gonna get us into here. Then we're next. Probably just down, right? Can I hit that? Yes, I can. Not really, though. Um, yeah, it's going there, then it goes there, perfect. And go through here, and we're in the caverns now, it's quite funny, you can probably use this pool that's right over here. Yeah, that's a gold portal, I like gold because gold's fun. Alright, that's an extra bit of money, I like money, fair enough. Dump you, throw you into the thing, get yourself the demonic hellfish, give you the fish, and then I guess that'll be that. I assume so. And then, there it is, demonic hellfish, what do you know, let's go back home and let's hand it in. Beautiful, actually no, it's gonna be faster if I just simply go to the boat. I'm pretty sure I put my money away first, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should, but I didn't. Whatever, though. Got ourselves clear over here. Then if we go and we can jump over to here. Perfect. Then it's going to allow us to get into here. Back home. And you can hand this fish in. Hello there. Boom. Boom. Done. Another one. Out of the way. Now all that's left to do now. Darn. No, let me speak with you. Cheers. Now we only have, I believe, uh, five more, right? Yes. Only five more. We're on 195. Five more fishing quests. The last... Five. Well, because you're gonna wait for the next day to get that. Whilst waiting, I'm clearly gonna go and I'm gonna fix up the ship. Just cause I, I want to fix up the ship. I don't like when the ship is not fixed up. Um uh, equipment, placeables, no dyes, no. Do I have golden dye? I must. Yes I do, I have the gold dye. I can maybe put that onto the uh, first not the UFO's golden. Yeah, that's nice. Doesn't really fit my top though, my top outfit though. Oh that's fine. Anyway, um, where do I have my... Oh, placeable, that's where it is. I need some, yeah, spooky wood. Alright then, well, I assume I'll see you quite soon. All right, and it's done. I added some platforms, some lights, and I simply moved the ship wheel from here to here, out of the golden chair, and I put ten gold coins down. Uh, ten, like, around, like, seven over here, and, like, three over here. And, um, yeah, it looks a lot better now. It actually looks, you know... Complete. So now the ship, I would say, is officially fixed, which is quite fun because it was it was definitely not fixed before. But now the ship is, in my opinion, anyway, fixed, and well, it looks actually like a good, fully complete ship. Because previously all these rooms were empty, it was dark everywhere. So we fixed everything, and now the ship actually looks good again. So that's quite fun. Without that out of the way, it's time to sleep and deal with the next fishing quest. I believe, since you know I have short term memory loss. Yep, five more. Let's get to it. What do you know? Two blood moons in a row. I officially want to die. Alright. Another incredibly painful blood moon is now, luckily, finally goddamn over. Christ almighty, I'm happy there isn't a solar eclipse. And I murdered harpies, and we're only one harpy away from our 1,150th kill. If I can just quickly find a single harpy, that'd be quite good. Hey yo, hello harpies, where you gone? I seem to kill one more, less than a harpy, that's a wyvern. And kill one more. If you could just give me one more harpy, I'd be quite happy about that. Please? No, alright, screw you then. No more harpies, no more trouble. Let's that case get ourselves down and let's keep it going. So I believe we have five left. Yes, five left. I've been sleeping. I've literally had to wait for two full blood moons. So I've generally come fully come forgot what I was doing. We were fixing the ship, weren't we? Oh yes, of course, the ship's not perfectly fixed, yeah, yeah, Believe me, uh, my memory normally isn't that bad. Alright then, him for the portal, and um, yeah, let's do the next fishing quest. Oh, I just burned myself. Uh, five more, this is going to be our third one of the day. Okay, well, uh, wow, you've bought me like 188 times. Actually, no, I've bought you 195 times, get your facts right, you idiot. You want yourself a mudfish caught in the jungle. Well, I can't do that for you, my friend, the jungle. I believe it's the middle teleporter, isn't it? I'm probably wrong, but let's just give it a shot. Oh, it is! Well, what do you know? 
Now, where precisely do you want this? Oh, hit I zoomed out too far. Where precisely in the jungle? You just stay in the jungle, so you can probably use a pool over there, right? I'd have to assume so. Uh, then, let's go over to those guys, and let's get ourselves over to where we were going to go. Now, can you just not for a minute? Like, yeah, stop. Cheers. Yeah, uh huh. Good. Now, um, here we are. Let's go and get ourselves the, uh, what's it called again? A mudfish. There, that's beautiful. First time. Nice. Now, we can quickly go, uh, I don't know. It'll be faster if we just simply go over here. And we admire how beautiful that is and how, you know, amazingly thin the ship is. Get ourselves over here, and then over here, and then back over here, and then back over here, and then jump down here. Do a 360 no scope, and then come in here and hide it in. Beautiful. Now I'm done. Now, yo, dude, can you just take that and then, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Beautiful. Now, uh, not wrong, but now we have, yeah, four more remaining. Can I use a sun drill? I believe I can, since it's still incredibly early in the morning. Can't even see the sun because it's behind the clouds over there. Might as well use a sun drill, and we can use it. What do you know? Day goes forward, and you can deal with the next fishing quest. How beautiful. I probably should, you know, actually use these pylons in my world. Because I use the pylons in, um... I use the pylons in my... What is going on with the rain? My god. But I, I use the pylons in my 1.4, but I haven't actually used them here. I've bought one and placed one right here, but I haven't actually, you know, placed them around the world. Because all my NPCs are living here, so, yeah. And 440. There's a storm going on, which is fine, because storms make it easier to get fish, so that's fine. Now you want a hunger fish cut in the caverns, I have to go over to the stupid thing again. Alright. Now I said that, um, uh, rain makes it easy to catch fish, that's true, but it only really works at the surface. And the underground doesn't really make much of a difference from what I know, so... Yeah, this rain won't help us at all, but I mean, that's completely fine. A storm is still quite cool, it looks quite cool. Four more, we can go and deal with this one, only three more afterwards. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Do you have 162 fishing power? Actually, it's still 162, maybe it does affect the underground, I don't know. Either way, the music that plays during a storm is actually officially my favorite music in Terraria because it's just so stormy and nice and then and, and just, yeah, it's nice, I like it. Over here, and then, no, what the flipping hell is it? There it is. Over here, and then over here, and then you can jump through here, and you can go down here, and you can wait for that to run out, and you can get ourselves over here, and, okay, I damaged myself again. Who cares? Boom. And you go, that's <laughs> still a spectacular fish from before. Power crate, not what I need. Close, though, but kind of right the opposite thing. Not a speckle fish, I don't need that, but I need you, thank you. Open you, and oh my god, you know, I'll just sell that when you get back home. I could have you a speckle fish here, though. Anyway, home we go. Now, I probably should clear that off someday. Now, we can get ourselves over here quickly. Wrong place, there's a storm still. Next, we'll go and we're gonna hand this one in, and then again, it'll be done for, I guess, now. Oh, look at that, it's a flipping seagull, I hate seagulls. That's oh, a dead seagull, that's a good seagull. Now, uh, hello there, uh, yo, dude, actually, I'm gonna speak of you first, hand that in, beautiful, then I'm gonna go and speak of you, then I'm gonna go and sell you, and you, and I'm gonna give you what I'm gonna sell you, and I might as well you, I might as well sell you, and boom, nice. Now, we only have, I believe, two more, no, three more fishing quests, we're so close, literally, this is a sliver of darkness after the green part. Three more fishing quests, the last three, unfortunately, we're gonna have to sleep for these last three, because we already used it in a sun drill, so yeah, but yeah, only three more fishing quests remain. I guess, let's just go get them, I'll see you next morning. Also, since I love the storm uh, music so much, I actually, uh, since it is a storm right now, I went and I spoke with uh, my guy, the wizard, and I got myself a music box, and now it turned into a storm music box. So now you have a music box for the storm, because you can actually get these, and these are quite cool. And what you gotta do is you simply buy the normal music box from this guy, wrong item. You gotta buy a music box from this guy, yeah, just a normal one like that, you gotta put it into equip it, and then, after a while, it should turn into the music box for the current music that's playing. Currently, it's playing the storm music, so it turned into a storm music box. It's quite fun. So, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna smack you uh, right over here. I have some room over here. I have to move you to, of course, but that's gonna be fine. Smack you right here so you can go and play the storm whenever you need to. Actually, no, it's screwed. I wanna take you to my house. Since I love the storm soundtrack so much, I might as well have it in my own house. It would only be logical. Oh, then. You can quickly go and you can smack it. Right in a place where it deserves to be. Um, A.K.A. on the floor next to the piano. Beautiful. Anyway though, let's sleep so we can deal with the next fishing quest. Also, I killed a flying by harpy and now we have our 1150th 1, harpy kill. Which is quite cool because that's not a banner. to the collection, which is very nice. Another one there. Beautiful. In that case, this time I will see you next morning. Right, and once again, it is daytime, which is all I have to say. Quite fun, because now we can go and can deal with one of the last three vision quests. So, murder these guys, and let's get to it. So, uh, looking at the thing magic, there are in fact yeah, just three left. Let's get down there. 
And there's two of them. Also, there's a chicken nugget flying past. Let's quickly just grab it. If you see a chicken nugget flying at the sky, eat it. You will not regret it. Now, with the chicken nugget consumed, we can get ourselves down back to our base and deal with the 198 fishing quest. Which, frankly, is going to be a angelfish again. Well, what do you know? I've got a lot of angelfish, you know, quests, like in general, which is kind of fun, actually. Anyhow, get ourselves up into here, throw you over there, and let's get ourselves the angelfish, because angelfish are quite fun, because they're quite easy to catch, most of the time, anyway. Uh, come on, just give me the angelfish, and we'll be down here. So please, just, just give me the flippin' angelfish. You know, I, I, I kinda need it. It might be here for a little while longer than I originally anticipated. That's another bass, great, great, great. Uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, fine. We do get to quickly look at our amazing, you know, item collection up there, for God's sake. Our, you know, beautiful item collection that we have up there. You know, we get to look at it whilst we're trying to fish for these fish. While it's obviously being attacked by a bunch of harpies, because that tends to happen quite a lot. That's not an angelfish, for God's sake, stop. I just want the angelfish, for God's sake. Gimme. That's a bass again. Why do I keep on getting bass and useless fish like that? I just want the angelfish, God damn it. Oh, yeah, there we are. My god, why did I have to take nine other things to get that? Now, I'm gonna go and throw these away into here. Maybe, I don't know, Bill can do something with them. I'm gonna keep this crate, though. So, I'm gonna hand you in. Nice. Goldfish trophy. Actually, I'm gonna keep that, too. But now I'm gonna go and put you over to nowhere. Actually, I'm gonna go and smack you over here. And then quick stack you over there. Then we're gonna go and take ourselves up to the ship. But we're just gonna go and we're gonna smack you down here. And then you up here. More decoration. Now the control room looks even nicer. Which is good, because I do want it to look quite nice. Good. Is that out of the way? Now it's time to sleep once again. So you can go and deal with the 199 fishing quests, I believe. Yep. Only two more. I guess I'll see you in the morning, where you can go and deal with the 199th fishing quest. Oh god, we're this close. We're so close. Alright, once again it's daytime. I want to clean the Harvey population definitely has decreased since, you know, a long time ago. Previously, we, well, actually, even in this episode, we had like 20 harpies flying around earlier. Now, there are only 5 harpies, so I think killing 1,172 harpies definitely decreased their population just a tiny bit. Anyhow, let's quickly now go get ourselves down and let's deal with the previous last fishing quest, 199. Hello there, Mr. Danny. Oh, for God's sake. I'm, yeah, there we are. I was going to close the door, but... Close the flippin' door. Oh, for God's sake, darn, move. Okay, he closed it himself, good. Danny, you want yourself. The pangfish, okay, the pangfish is a pain to catch. And I mean a pain, because you just don't get it half the time. Shame to sell one at 199, but yeah. I wonder what our 200th fish is going to be. I wonder what the final fish is going to be. I'm really curious to, you know, what the final fish is going to be. Interesting. So anyway, we're to fly down, though. And that way is to go to our shuttle. Equip our portal gun. Go up onto the roof of the ship. Fire the portal gun. Try to probably hit. Fire down first. Kill that guy. And then shoot until it hits. Just wait a little while. That didn't hit. Shoot over there. Or just, just simply rapid fire. That worked. Perfect. Now we're over here. You can still see him flying over there. Then equip the piggy bank. Put the portal gun away. Uh, put your sniper rifle back in spot. Teleport out of the ship. Shoot your ship with your sniper rifle, drop down, avoid the many biome boxes that we have, and half them don't even work. Get ourselves over to here, and after once again a nice little cheeky teleport, we can quickly go and get ourselves our 199 fish. The pangfish. That's a little tutorial right there. Totally not useless. That is a frost dagger fish. Great start. Okay, that's a bass, also not too good. Mm hmm. Alright. And there's nothing now. There's generally no more fish in the ocean. That's the bass. is in the ocean either. Great. Okay, that's another bass. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Cool, 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 cool. That's more frost tiger fish. That's not what I need. Uh, that's that's what I told you. The pink fish is just such a pain to get because half the time you don't even get it, and that's what hurts. <laughs> that's what hurts. There we are. Christ, not to take that long, did it? Frost dagger fish is just thrown in the sky. Ironically, the frost dagger fish is the weapon that the angler uses to defend himself whenever he gets attacked, so that's quite fun. Anyway, though, this is 199. This is fish number 199, so that's quite fun. Well, actually, theoretically, it isn't, but I mean, the one that we're going to hand in, because I also have a different fish that I didn't hand in. So, theoretically, this is the 200th fish we ever caught, but actually, 
And I think this is like 201st fish, because I think I believe I caught two fish and handed in two of those, but handed in one of them. Whatever. This is fish. This is fish 199. I don't care what you say. This is 199. Do not confuse me anymore. I'm confusing myself, but you get the point. Boom. One more left. Christ almighty. I don't want that. I'm going to eat that. And I'm going to put you over there. And then put you over there. Right then. Now, where's the flippant area? One single fish remains. We are now currently on 199. We only have one more fish remaining to catch. Just one more. And the supreme helper minion achievement will be mine. Just one more left. Let's go. Get it! Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Edmund, Ariella, and Mobart are throwing a party. So, I guess they're celebrating us, you know, about to get our 200 fishing quest. Plus, the chat bar is golden. I didn't even know that. So, um, yeah, now you can write in style, which is quite fun, with a golden chat bar. Cool, cool, cool. Anyhow, it is time. Today is the in-game Terraria day, and also the real-life day when we will obtain our 200th fishing quest. I'm not joking. Today, we will get the 200th fishing quest. We are being pursued by a wyvern, which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, let's hope it won't become too much of a problem. But um, yeah, today we will obtain our 200th fishing quest. And that just blows my mind. So many hours of constant grinding just to get a single achievement. There's a party going on which actually fits quite well for what we're about to do. Danny, my man. This is it. The final fish. A zombie fish. Of course a zombie fish is a 200 fish. Why wouldn't it be? Cut on surface. Well, I believe I can do that for you, my friend. If I get myself over, yes, to the dungeon. The dungeon teleporter is this one right here. Let's travel the dungeon and let's obtain our two hundred fish and this wow so many hours of grinding i've so far caught 199 fish i've spent so many hours i believe this is like episode 19 of this fishing quest it literally took us nearly 20 episodes to go from 69 fishing quests to 200 but let's say it took us like around 25 or probably more like 30 episodes to, well, it would have taken us 30 episodes to go from 0 to 200. And since each episode is like around 30 minutes, that would equal to around 15 hours of constant grinding for one single achievement. There are not many achievements in games that take 15 hours to get. But this right here took 15 goddamn hours. Probably more than 15 hours. Anyway, the zombie fish has been obtained. Let's hand it in to the angler and complete this achievement and simply have that done. This genuinely is about to be the greatest moment in history. Let's actually get some good music playing as well. How about we go with Moon Lord's theme? Because trust me, this will fit quite nicely. Right then, also let's just make everything completely dark. As now we're about to hand in the final fishing quest. This is number 200. I'm currently holding the 200 fish right in my inventory. And when I press this button, when I press the button that says quest, I will get the supreme helper minion achievement. We have spent hours, and I mean hours upon hours, to get this achievement. And now... Finally, after what I'd estimate to be around, I'd say, nearly 20 hours of constant grinding, we managed to go from zero fishing quests to 200. Granted, we started off the hour little adventure from 69. I already had 69 fishing quests done, so you theoretically only did 131, but still, 141 fishing quests. I did those 61 fishing quests before, legitimately, as well, so that means 200 fishing quests. All of that, just for one goddamn achievement. Was it worth it? Oh, hell yeah. And now, the supreme helper minion achievement is mine. I will actually take a screenshot of that. We got it. Achievement complete. Supreme helper minion. 
Oh my god, and our reward is a goddamn minecart. Let's just throw it in the water. I, I genuinely... <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's done. It genuinely is done. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It should be somewhere around over here. Uh, probably just one of these. What it maybe a challenger? I believe so. And it is. There it is. Supreme Helper Minion. Complete a grand total of 200 quests for the angler. That is now done. We have obtained 200 goddamn fish. My god. And I guess now, I have prepared a little bit of a celebration to celebrate our completion of this achievement. We already have a party going on, which is quite good. I could have started one myself with the party center that we have up there, but I mean, we don't need to because, you know, a normal natural party happened, which is quite good. I've converted one of my floating islands into a celebration island. This island right here, to be precise, this is the celebration island. And that island, you will celebrate us obtaining the Supreme Helper Mini Achievement. So let's just get over there and let's celebrate our collection of 200 fish. Our celebration of handing in 200 quest fish. Our celebration of doing 250. Fi not 250. Our celebration of doing 200 fishing quests. Can you not ruin the mood? I'm gonna drop this bait off the edge of the map. Because, yeah. Also, whilst we're here, we can also just maybe finally change out of our stupid angler armor. I've been wearing this angler outfit for. Well, what I can assume to be years. My god. But that is completely fine. Because, frankly, well, wearing this outfit, I put this in the wrong place. Wearing this outfit allowed us to get this achievement. And now, because you wore that outfit for so long, because you we did so many fishing quests, you now have that achievement collected and completed. And that, frankly, really did make my day. I can go put all this away because I no longer need any of it. And, um, yeah. Wow, I'll actually keep the bait on me. Just to, you know, celebrate that. But that's not that removed. I can finally go and I can quickly equip my armor again. And also equip my Ankh shield. So, yeah. Now we're once again a god. But now, I shall, well, I shall celebrate our victory. I shall celebrate the completion. I shall celebrate us obtaining 200 goddamn fishing quests. Starting off with some of these confetti guns. Yay, confetti guns. Whoa, party, celebration. We got the fishing quests done. But if you think that's it, then oh boy, you're wrong. Because that was only the beginning of the party. When I press this lever, all of these things I've set up here will go boom. And the real celebration will begin. So without further we do. Hours of grinding have led up to, well, us obtaining that achievement. And now, with the achievement collected, I think it's only right that we do a bit of well-deserved celebration. Yay! We did it. We did it. We have obtained the 200th fishing quest. And it is now done. Which, frankly, is quite amazing. I'm going to... Well, I don't know how to do. I'm gonna quickly disable these first of all because I want to now have some different. I want to have now the fireworks flying, not just these firework fountains. But yeah, it's done. My god, it is now finally done. And it genuinely, it just. Wow. That it took so long to do. But frankly, it was worth it. Because now it's done. Also, I don't know how to actually activate. Oh, no, my I can. Yeah, but boom. It's done. It genuinely is now. Finally done, which quite frankly is very brilliant. We also have these confetti cannons shooting confetti at us, which is also quite fun. But yeah, boom! So many hours upon hours of grinding have led up to this moment, and now we got it. The 200th fishing quest has been handed in. We have now officially done 200 goddamn fishing quests, which frankly. I don't regret it, because yes, it may have taken hours, yes, it was only for a single achievement, but I mean, hey, we had some fun doing it. It was quite fun to, you know, go on a stupid adventure, do so many stupid useless fishing quests. It was fun, it was amazing, and now, 
well, we can rightfully celebrate our victory. Also, for another Harpy Banner. What do you know? Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, the fishing quests are done. Therefore, our job here is also done. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Where next episode, we shall travel back to Spirit End. We shall travel back to Terraria 1.3.5, and we shall continue through our adventure in Terraria Spirit Mod. But that'll be next episode. For now, thank you for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!